I would say the the psychological um, effects of having a gummy smile are un unbelievable. Like, I couldn't I couldn't smile without wanting to instantly cover my face just from a, a reaction. Like, um, not even thinking, I would physically you know cover my mouth, and I feel like I have a great smile. Um, it was just the psychological effects of going, oh, are people looking at my gums? Are people you know do people see what I see when every time I look in the mirror? You know, it would. It would affect me every day, every time I smiled, and being a smiley person, it made it really difficult. I was doing uh, internet searching. Um, it finally, you know, became a thing for me where I'm like, I really need to do something about this because it's affecting, it's affecting me every day. Uh, so I started Google. I did a Google search, you know, internet search, and dug through, um, looking at different, you know, possibilities, and most of them were talking about. Um, shaving gums and doing this and I already have a pretty big smile so I was like I don't have that option for me to uh, you know to actually cut into my gum and, and there were like jaw reconstructive surgery and things like that it just seemed way over the top to me um, and this was the one answer that just like stuck out in my mind it was like and it seemed so easy the websites really easy to navigate made a simple phone call and uh, you know everyone at the office was really supportive and uh, it was a really easy process. Uh, came in and, and met with Dr. Farnoosh and just made me feel really comfortable about the whole procedure. And and I read a couple other places that did it and there were negative reviews and things where people like just did not have great experience. And anytime I'm dealing with anything to do with my face or you know anything, especially my smile being something that I want to show people, I want it to be absolutely flawless. And, and that's what I got, you know. I actually uh, went back to work that, that same day. I'm, I do personal training as well. And uh, I was back at work training my clients that day. There was, um, it was a lot less swelling than I thought. Um, I, was, I was meticulous about taking um, the antibiotics and then also some of the, uh, the over-the-counter drugs that I was told to take. So I think that had a lot to do with it, but it was relatively hardly um, any pain at all involved uh, during the procedure. Um, was a lot faster than I than I uh, than I ever anticipated it would go. Um, the swelling, like I said, was there were no. I was worried about bruising, maybe, or you know, people could see that that I definitely had some swelling in my face, a little puffier than I was used to. Um, but overall, it was it was a breeze. I thought it was going to be a lot more intensive than it was, and not at all. The only downside for me, because I'm a, I love to laugh. Uh, comedy is my life, so. Anytime I had to laugh, I had to, oh, I gotta, because Dr. Uh, Dr. Farnoosh was very adamant about, you know, don't, don't smile too big at first. I didn't want to stretch out my stitches. So I had to, I would have to hold down my mouth and laugh. I'd be like, this is, you know, this is funny. So for maybe two weeks, I had to do that where I had to concentrate on somebody would say something funny or something would happen. And I'd be like, oh, I gotta catch my lip. So, uh, so it was not to stretch my stitches, not that anything would happen, but, you know, any procedure you want to do, uh, you want to focus on keeping it, um, intact the best you can and uh, that was the hardest part for me is just not overly laughing too much for the first two weeks. It's it's one of those things with any kind of adjustment you have and, and just the idea of going uh, to a dentist or anybody messing with your face, your teeth, any of that's always nerve-wracking, at least for me. Um, and, and I would have to say I'm so glad that, that I came and I have no regrets at all and I would, in the event, uh, I obviously would do it again and I tell anyone like when people, uh, you know, come to me, if they, if they were to have that issue, I'd be like, yeah, you need to go see them. It's just a, just a huge burden off your shoulders to, to have the procedure done. The burden of relief of just being able to, to feel normal in my smile and not having that self-conscious, like, am I showing too much gums? And, and now I, I, I joke with my friends, I'm like, you, I almost feel like I'm gonna have to charge Dr. Farnoose to get me some Botox, I'm gonna have permanent smile lines. I can't wipe the smile off my face, I'm like, Everything I do, I wake up and I'm like, oh, I was smiling when I was sleeping. How did that happen? I just think it, overall in my life is just overall so much better. Um, and just every, you know, everyone knows it starts with a smile and, um, you know, mine's not going anywhere. <laughs> everyone was super, super friendly and the doctor was gentle. Um, you know, there were no overbearing pain, little pressure every now and then in certain spots. But, um, you know, and there was tightness at first in the lip, all that went away and he coached me through all the steps. Um, you know, if I had questions almost before I could answer the question, he was already answering, you know, this, expect this, expect that. So there was nothing, I didn't feel like anything was a surprise for him, which is always, you know, that, that's a scary thing. Uh, he knew every step all along the way uh, as to what to expect. And it's just very comforting to know that, you know, so he's been through this before, he knows exactly what he's doing. It's not a roll of the dice. 
Um, I am not unique in the fact that of uh, something crazy might happen. He told me what, what, what to expect and that's exactly what way it went down, you know. I had uh, insecurities. Some of my teeth are, you know, they weren't per well, weren't being the key word. They weren't perfect. Uh, when I came in, I had some uneven teeth and my gums weren't exactly, the line, the shape of them weren't exactly ideal. Um, and Dr. Furnish changed all that for the better, just made the very best version of me that he could, um, which turned out pretty good, I think. He uh, reshaped um, all my teeth along the front um, and then also uh, the gum line itself. So like I said, it's, it's the picture perfect symmetrical version of me. And uh, what the, the most interesting part for me is when I smile, like I kind of had a dip to one side before and now it's like symmetrical all the way across, you know, one smile, one side to the other is just perfect.